Hello everyone. Welcome to Techno Mechanics. Today we are going to see how to build an IoT project in thinkercad.com. So first of all, you need to open your browser and then go to the search bar and search for tinkercad.com. After going to the Tinkercad page, then you will be landed by default into the 3D design but you need to click on circuit which is just below the 3d design after clicking on the circuit you have an option to create new circuit you need to click there after clicking on the create to create new circuit now you can see a page will appear where you can make the circuit and you can work with electronic stuff so first of all to make this project we need Arduino so we will search for Arduino and after that we will try to drag the Arduino to our place where we will make the circuit after placing the Arduino now we need some other components such as temperature sensor okay for this we will be using TMP 36 we also have TMP 35 and after that we will also use ESP8266 Wi-Fi module okay just place the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module into the board and after that take two registers and connect them in series Okay, just place it properly so that it will be visible after that what we will do now we will take one wire from the enable pin of the ESP8266 and we will short circuit it to the reset pin of it after that we will also take one wire from power bu power button and then we, then we again it will short circuit into the reset pin now after doing all this step now again we need to take one wire from the power the power pin of this ESP8266 ESP and take it to the 3.3 volt of Arduino okay just take your wire to the 3.3 volt and then place it there yeah after that you can change the color of the wire also if you want okay so let me change the color of this wire to red okay after that we will take the TX pin which is a transmission pin as we will connect it to the receiver pin of the Arduino okay and again we will try to make this wire a bit proper after that yes we will take one wire from the TX pin of Arduino and connect it, in, it into the this capacity this uh, registers first end okay taking the ticks and we will change this color into the pink after that we will take one wire from the terminal the in the middle from the middle of this uh, registers and we will connect it to the ground pin of ESP8266 okay and we will change its color to the black after that now our most of the part is completed okay we will we will take one end of the <clears throat> now we will work with the temperature sensor okay we will connect the ground of the temperature sensor to the ground of the Arduino okay just take the wire from the ground and put it into the ground of the Arduino and then you can change the color of it to the black after that we will take the power pin of temperature sensor and we will connect it into the 5 volt of Arduino okay and then we will change it color into red yes. after that now V out pin will be connected to the analog 0 pin of the Arduino okay and we can and after that what left is the RX pin so we need to connect this RX pin wait we have done one mistake okay so you need to connect this ground to the end terminal of the register okay I did that mistake so I just delete that wire pressing the delete button after that when you place this into the end terminal of the registers 
then you what you need to do you need to take one ground from the Arduino and again place it there and change this color into black okay we will also change it color into black so it will be easy for someone to understand the negative point then we will connect the RX pin from the ESP8266 to the middle of this registers after this our circuit has been completed okay now let's move to the coding part yes so I will attach this code into the our description okay description of this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel okay so I have written here the code to uh, retrieve the data from the Tinkercad okay so now what you need to do you need to go to the code section and you can you need to change this block into the text and you need to click on continue by default you will get this code but we need to change this code right so what we will do we will copy this code okay and we will paste it out here after the pasting the code you will see this like uh, here you can see it is written as API key right I have already written that's why it is there but it will be something like this for you okay the code will be something like this now you need to open one more tab and you need to go to thinkspeak.com okay so thinkspeak is an analytic platform IoT analytic platform from uh, Mathwork so after that you need to sign it to the thinkspeak so let me sign in from my mail ID after signing in you need to again give the password so if you have not created account you, you need to create an account in uh, thinkspeak so that we will get the data over the cloud so this is a cloud platform where you can do the analytic and all the stuff oops I'm entering the wrong password let me try it this time okay okay it is working now so after that you need to click on create new channel okay and the my channel you will see there I have already created that's why we are able to sum up them there but you need to click on new channel and you need to you can give any name to your channel okay like I have given temperature and then in description I have given temperature from Thinkergate after that leave everything as it is okay just change the field one to whatever you want I have changed it to the temperature and then click on save change after do it, doing all this thing now you are at this page and you, you need to click on API okay? so here you will get the API here okay, which is a key okay just copy this API key and now again go to the Tinkercade and paste it here okay paste it down here your, your API key after this your coding part is done now you can click on the start simulation and so now your data from this temperature sensor will go to the cloud and we can see there okay so now you can see in the serial monitor it has it is showing that it has been connected right so now when you will click on private view then you can see here it is showing your temperature yes so you have successfully completed this uh, thing okay so that means you are able to view your data in the cloud so see me if you have the physical this uh, if you have the Arduino temperature sensors and all this stuff in physical then also you can do the same project and monitor the device monitor the temperature of your area maybe your room uh, this is also known as a temperature logger project which is widely used in the industry okay and with this data what you will get from uh, this temperature sensors you can use you can do the various kind of analytic okay in this platform in math work you can uh, take uh, make uh, like look at this thing but in in, a, in other visualization like a bar chart or maybe bar graph okay there are lots of other stuff that you can do here So I'm just refreshing to see like uh, what's my data so you can see it is showing me to 25 degrees Celsius that means our project is successfully completed okay then it's update after like uh, one minute every one minute it get updated the temperature from the sensor yeah so thank you very much for viewing our video